What's up, friends, fellow card collectors? Card Obvious here, and it's back for another episode of the hunt for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie uh, card out of 90, 1989 Don Russ. Once again, thanks to Danny over at 12 Again Sports and Outdoors for making this all possible by sending me this box, this beautiful box of 89 Don Russ out of the blue. I must say thank you, Danny. Every episode of these I make because I really appreciate that. That was super generous of you to send me a whole box of this. So we're going to do the upper right stack today. Of course, I started with the bottom right stack. I'm going to go counterclockwise. Is there a Griffey in here? We're about to find out. I've been getting a lot of love on uh, the first video. People saying, that Griffey's in that box. They can feel it. I got good feelings about the box too. And you know what? Even if there's not a Griffey in here, this is so much fun. So much fun. So quick reminder, my next break will be breaking tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Yes, a Sunday morning break. So for those of you that aren't at church or don't go to church or maybe even done with church, um, definitely stop by. And say hi while we're doing the break. Lots of fun. Uh, don't don't have much else besides the break lined up. Do have Pack Wars on the site. Uh, Joe Mansman bought a spot in Box 1. Joe Mansman's looking for a contestant in Box 1. If I don't get a contestant for Joe in that Pack War tomorrow, I will, I will go ahead and break it for Joe. I will be the contestant. I will go get against Joe head-to-head -head in that Pack War unless somebody else buys into it. So... Enough rambling for me and selling my wares, pimping my wares. Let's go ahead and get into this. Pack number one from stack number two. Top right. Let's get our focus. You know what I got to pull up real quick? Let me pull up my checklist. All right. We're back. Sorry. Now to the first pack. I had to pull up my checklist for uh, for this Donner, so I know when I'm getting something I need. All right. Of course, we all know the big card I need. First pack. The wax on these packs are kind of tough, but they haven't really stained the cards, which makes me pretty happy there is definitely wax residue on the card but it didn't stain the card so that's pretty cool we got bud black on the back good old bud black Bud black is the coach of is it the padres now long time manager in the major league baseball should have made some room in my trash can for all these packs Puzzle piece. Here we go. Goose Gossage. Goose Gossage. That is number 158. Did I need that one? I sure did. Right off the bat. Boom. Hall of Famer. For my Hall of Fame binder that I did not have. Goose. Showing off the stash with the Cubbies. Very nice. Dave Schmidt. Luis De Los Santos. Showing off his Jerry Curl. Jose Akindo. Here's a Mattingly. Mattingly is not a Hall of Famer. Some people believe he should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm on the border about whether Don Mattingly should be in the Hall of Fame or not. He had some really, really, really solid years. Um, just kind of fell off. Injuries got him towards the end there. Ken Caminetti. Guillermo Hernandez. Bob Nepper showing off his pitch face. The Jack Morris. Jack Morris card number 234. There's another card I needed. Boom. Two Hall of Famers in the first pack I needed. That's awesome. Andy Hawkins. John Costello. Dale Mahorchik. So many stashes. Here's a Mookie Wilson. It's a fan favorite. Mookie Wilson. Chet Lemon for the Tigers. And here's that Bud Black. Bud Black with the Indians. The wax card. I don't know if you could see it. Try to get some glare on it, but can't really see it, but you can definitely feel the wax on there. Alright. 
Not a bad pack. Two Hall of Famers and a Don Mattingly. Cannot complain. Got a Jack Burns McDowell. You see Jack Burns McDowell. It sounds like a Civil War general's name. General Jack Burns McDowell. Of course, it helps that Ken Burns did the Civil War documentary, which is really awesome. He also did the baseball documentary, which is really awesome as well. Milt Thompson. Jesse Barfield. Ken Hill. Greg Brock. Looking pretty happy there. Keith Hernandez, also a fan of the Booger Sugar. Andre Dawson, MVP, bonus card 8. Bonus card 8. Another one I needed. Very nice. The Hawk. From my hometown of Miami, Florida. Andre Dawson. Mickey Tettleton with the Orioles. Bruce Ruffin. Ricky Jordan. Dale Zvium. I think that's how you said his name. Tim Belcher. The Belcher. Jeff Hamilton. The Dodges. Ron Robinson. Getting ready to show off a pitch face. Alan Anderson. Thinking hard. And that young Jack McDowell. Jack Burns McDowell. Burns. That's a great middle name. My new middle name is Burns, baby. All right. We got Alvin Davis on the back. Hope everybody's out there having a good Saturday. Whether it be relaxing, partying, hanging out with family. Cal Ripken right off the bat. Card number 51. That is definitely one I needed. Cal Ripken Hall of Famer. Another one off the list. Very, very nice. Cameron Drew rated rookie. Scott May. And the great stash there. Got a Steve Bedrosen, Bedrock. Of course, his son is now playing. Pitcher in the game. Rafael Ramirez. I think it's his son. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's his son or his grandson. Jack Savage with the Savage Mustache. With a big old can of dip in his pocket. Right there if you can't see it. <laughs> Mike Aldrete. Neil Allen. Funny thing about dip is uh, there's a lot of pro players still using dip. They just have to hide it from the cameras. They can't really use it on camera anymore. Uh, but every once in a while the, the camera will catch uh, somebody in the dugout. Uh, playing with a little bit of dip. Al Morris. Mike Brumley. Don't use dip, kids. Alan Trammell. Bonus card. BC-17 is another one I needed. Very nice. Alan Trammell. MVP bonus card. Brian Harvey. Corey Snyder. The Engines. Checklist. And Alvin Davis. MVP. Showing off a stash. Alvin Davis looks like a Ramathorn from, a. Uh, Super Troopers are. <laughs> Say car ramrod. <laughs> Alright, moving down. Let's see, about halfway through the stack now. Try to open it without mangling these packs, but the, the wax is sealed so well. Got a Lance Johnson on the back. This guy, Danny Gladden. I did not like Danny Gladden when I first became a baseball fan because he played for the Twins. I think he actually scored the winning run of that uh, 91 Game 7 Classic, uh, which the Twins won 1-0. to zero. I believe Danny Gladden was the one that scored the winning run of the 91 World Series. Sean Hilligas, Mike Bodiger, RJ Reynolds, Corey Snyder with the Indians, Tom Bolton showing off his stash, Scott Geraltz. Dave Magadan. Uh, I remember him, but wasn't too familiar with his game. Ray Hayward. Boom! There it is. 
There it is. Finally. Finally. <laughs> After all this time. 30 plus years of never having it happen. It's finally happened. I've pulled a pack fresh. King Griffey Jr. rookie card. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Danny. For giving me the opportunity to pull this card. It's taken me a long time. Finally did it. A 1989 King Griffey Jr. rookie that I pulled out of a pack on my own. Freaking awesome. Behind Ray Hayward. I don't know how the collation works on 89 Donruss. Maybe he's always behind Ray Hayward. Maybe he's always a card and a half behind Dave Magadan. Or Scott Geralt's. But. <laughs> That's awesome. King Griffey Jr. card number 33. Rated rookie. Beautiful card. Pretty nice centering. Corners look great. Not that I'm a huge uh, connoisseur of condition. But this card's beautiful. It will always be beautiful. Because I pulled it myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Danny, thank you. I owe you big time for allowing that to happen. Danny Walling. I don't even really care what's in the rest of this pack. Nelson Liriano. <laughs> Tom Hankey, Jeff Kunkel, Lance Johnson. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Finally. Something I've always wished would have happened ever since I was a kid. Now, I wasn't collecting in 89. I didn't start collecting until 91. By that time, like, King Griffey Jr. was the, the hotness, you know. The 89 upper deck was the hotness. That card was like a hundred bucks when I was a kid. <laughs> like way, way beyond my wildest dreams. But you know, I did get my hands on a few 89 packs back then. Never pulled it. Till now. 2020. 31 years later. Finally got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Danny, very much for that. I'm so giddy right now. <laughs> oh, I'm so giddy right now. I don't even know what to say now. I can't even talk. I can't even ramble anymore. It's messing me up. All right. <laughs> Another puzzle piece. Is it possible there's two in here? I don't know. There was one in here. That's all that mattered. There was one. And all of you told me when I was ripping it that first time, even when I showed it off on the mail day, mail day said, oh, there's a Griffey in there. They could feel it. Lance McCullers. Stan Javier. Daryl Evans with the Tigers. Jose Leend with the Pirates. Pat Perry. Joe Hesketh. Bryn Smith. Damon Barrio. Jerry Reed. Gotta be careful pitching, sticking your tongue out. Might bite it. Jim Presley. Greg Minton showing off his stash. Kirk Gibson with the artist rendition stash. And the lightning bolts in the background. Jose, can you see? Jose Canseco, bonus card number five. Bonus card number five, Jose Canseco. Mark Gabiska. And Mark Clear with the pencil thin mustache. Man. That last pack had this one. I'm so happy now. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I've uh, hit a white whale and you know it's like eh, it's just a Griffey rookie I've seen a million of them but that's the first one I've ever pulled all right we got a Charles Davis on the back Charlie Puleo 
Dino Petrali. Daryl Boston, those great glasses. Storm Davis, pre pitch face. Mike Dunn, pre pitch face. Tim Laudner. Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox, I think I needed this one too. 373. No, I did not need this. I did have this Greg Maddox. But Hall of Famer nonetheless. Just a double. Uh, double up. Uh, uh. Wallace Johnson. Lloyd McClendon. Bob Force drives a Porsche. Steve Bouchel. Wally Joyner, MVP. The Goon with Goggles. Chris Sabo. Shout out to Crosby. Andy McGaffigan. And the chilliest of Chili Davis. Alright, three more packs left in the stack. <laughs> Sorry if I uh, let all the air out of the balloon there by pulling a Griffey this early. <laughs> but it happened. Oh yes, it happened. We got Earl Hershiser on the back. Record 59 scoreless innings. Is that still a record? Hershiser still had that record for 59 scoreless innings. It's in the eyes of Warren Spawn. Here's a George Brett. I think I had this card. Maybe not. Let's see. 204. Nope. Needed that one as well. George Brett. Hall of Famer. Another one to add to the horde. Petey Smith. Rod Nichols with those big beautiful glasses. Kelly Downs with the stash. Greg Cataray. He has a cookie duster himself. Here's another cookie duster. German Gonzalez. Tom Brunanski. Eric Hansen. He's a rated rookie. Too young to grind his stash yet, I guess. Craig Jeffries. Sure, that was a big card back in the day, wasn't it? Greg Jeffries. Juan Mievis. Bob Welch. John Fischel. Two Earl Hershizers in here. Earl Hershizer. Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin, card 257. It's another one I needed. Very nice. Racking up on the Hall of Famers in this box. And Earl Hershizer, 59 and counting. This is card number 648. It is the wax card. Earl Hershizer. Earl Hershizer, juggling balls. Very nice. Alright, two more packs in the stack. Two more packs in the stack. Hopefully he didn't uh, jump through the video. You know, clicking through the video like we all do. I mean, I do it sometimes too. Fast forwarding ahead to see what the highlights are in the card rip. <laughs> Especially like, you know, somebody sees they have a hit and they're like, uh, got a big hit in this. And you kind of fast forward it because you want to see the hit. I, I try not to do that very much. I'm not saying I don't do it every once in a while, but I try not to do it. I try to give you all those, uh, those extra minutes by watching the video. All right. And always remember to, uh, to comment and thumbs up. If you watch somebody's videos and, uh, you really enjoy it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It's easy to watch a video, not even think about the thumbs, but hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you got time to leave a comment, hit that bell notification if you want to be notified every time I got a video pop up. Jim Gat. Jim got no mustache. Look at that cookie duster. Israel Sanchez. Sil Campusano. He got a pencil thin mustache. Wish I had a pencil thin mustache. Dick Schofield. Rich Gedman. Vance Law with those big beautiful glasses. Craig Worthington. Pat Tabla. Jose De Leon. John Candelaria in his 115th year of pitching. Shane Raleigh uh, putting a little extra on that ball. Putting a little extra stank on that ball for the batter. Hippolito Pena. Paul Assenmacher. Windmill Ron Washington looking really, really hungover in that picture. <laughs> looking really struck out. Uh, I don't have any evidence that, uh, that, that Ron was a Booger Sugar fan back in the day, but... Yeah, fits the physical description <laughs> of looking a little strung out in the morning. Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner. Not sure if that's a rookie of Jay Buhner. This is the wax card. Pretty cool. Jay Buhner was a beast. Alright. Last pack of this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stack. 
Ah, this was so awesome. I think I finally got the hang of opening these somewhat cleanly. Instead of mangling the pack. I'm going to have a probably another full war and spawn puzzle. That I will ship out with the giveaway stash. Uh... This month, Dante Bichette, rookie. Dave Winfield, Dave Winfield, 159. Boom, another one I needed. Dave Winfield. Doc Gooden. Fred Lynn. John Farrell. Steve Jeltz. Mike Greenwell. Robbie Alomar, Robbie Alomar, 246. Yep. Needed that one as well. Very, very nice. Spike Owens. Jeff Treadway. Pedro's older brother, Ramon. Brady Anderson. I think that's a rookie. Mav and Freeman. Mav and Freeman. Oops. I dropped Jim Gantner. Ted Power. Ted Power showing off his cookie duster. Jim Gantner showing off his big, beautiful glasses. What a stack, what a stack. Man, man, oh man, oh man. What a stack that was. These are all the base commons. Most of those would be going to commons for kids, for donation. These are the non-MVP cool cards. Jose Canseco. Don Mattingly. Hall of Famers. Roberto Alomar. This one's super off-center, top to bottom. Dave Winfield, Barry Larkin's off center too. Look how close his name is to the top. George Brett, Greg Maddox, Alan Trammell, Cal Ripken, Andre Dawson, Jack Morris, and the Goose, Goose Gossage. But all those pale in comparison to this. You beautiful, beautiful Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card, finely pack pulled. Finally, I can quit harping on never pulling a Griffey out of a pack. My first Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card to add to my collection. And it is awesome. It is everything I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Give me my Oscar. All right, going to add to the giveaway stash. These are some cards I got out of that Fairfield yesterday. Throw these in here. Remember to be eligible for the giveaway stash. All you have to do is comment on any of my uploads in the month of February, including this one. And I will choose a random commenter from a random video. We'll go to the Wheel of Death. I'll eliminate a bunch of names and come out with one winner. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. I won't babble anymore. Let me put Griffey back up on the stand over here. So you can bask in its glory as well. But, thank you all. Remember, I will be live tomorrow at 11 a.m. to do the Bargain Buster group break number 9, or number 11. Excuse me, I can't count. Number 11. Got 89 on the brain. <laughs> Bargain Buster group break number 11 tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Also looking for another contestant for Pack Wars, or else I will be taking on Joe Man's Man myself. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate all the support y'all been giving me. Remember, you can only control two things, that's your thoughts and your actions. So stay positive, stay awesome, be awesome to others. Keep ripping them packs when you can. I'll catch you all later. Peace.